Hi everyone, it's Mitch. It's Thursday, October 23rd, and we're playing college football tonight. Uh, we're also just two days away from the start of um, my first ever picking contest, and I'm excited about that as well. I didn't do the picking contest perfect when I set out the forms. This is our first week. It's going to be a growing process. I'm not a mega corporation that has this down pat and has a million people, you know, shuffling papers around. It's just me running the contest, so feel free to email me. I'd rather have the questions, though, around the contest in the forum because, uh, you know, I a lot of people have the same question and you know I'm trying to direct everybody there it's not that I don't like your emails I like them um, it's always fun to get email I get I get hundreds but uh, you know it's the same question so you know in the forums this way if you have a question just about everybody else has the same question be sure to check the forums you know and you guys can talk amongst yourselves about the competition as well you have the password it was in the newsletter in any event let's get on to tonight's games the first game Auburn against um, West Virginia, this game, you know, at the beginning of the season, we would have probably thought that this game had national championship implications. I I would have thought so, you know, easily. Both these teams had really high hopes. They both have solid talent levels. They just haven't gotten it done this year. They've been, you know, somewhat of a disappointment. I would say that Auburn's uh, problems very easy to pinpoint. It's been on. It's been on offense. They can't move the ball. If you can't move the ball, you can't score points. You're gonna have trouble winning ball games. I've seen. Yeah, we we've seen it happen at the pro and at the college level where defenses. You know, they are gonna win you games. But when people say that, they're talking about setting up field position, uh, coming up with some key turnovers. You still have to convert those into points. The defense isn't actually going to you know, grab the ball every uh, game and, and run three or four touchdowns in for you. And Auburn, it seems to be almost reliant that something like that is going to happen for them. And it, it's just not happening for them. They go to Cody Burns tonight. He He's a running quarterback. He, he uh, hasn't thrown a touchdown pass all season. I'm not so sure he's the answer. Auburn's going to have to rely on that defense and try and convert it into points. On the other side of the ball, we had a quarterback that really knows what he's doing in Pat White. We have a running back who's spectacular, Noel Devine. We have another suffocating defense. So that's, uh, you know, good defense on good defense, talent against talent. But uh, we have a coach that I don't, I, you know, I got a question that he even knows what he's doing out there. And, you know, I'm not so sure he's going to be at West Virginia too long. Tommy Bowden's gone at Clemson. Bill Stewart, you're my a new man, so uh, I, don't, I don't think you're going to be around too long. Uh, th we, we had Tommy pretty much pegged, and uh, I think we've seen what you're capable of as well, and you know, it, we're not saying you're a bad guy. We're not saying anything of that nature at all. We're just saying that you make some questionable coaching decisions in key moments of big games, and uh, he, he's proven it out. He cost them, his team the Colorado game outright by his own poor coaching decisions. Um, his team hasn't looked spectacular, even against some of the lesser competition. They have managed to get it won because they're loaded with talent. They're West Virginia. With Rich Rodriguez left the cupboard stocked. You have Pat White, who, you know, by, uh, he, he's on almost any other team in the country. He's got a trip to New York to the Heisman Trophy presentation. He, 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 he's lucky, you know, if, if he can get a, a, a subway token, you know, after, after the way the, that, uh, you know, the season that he's had. So we're going to take Auburn tonight. We're going to take the points. The reason, my reason being is that, you know, it's going to be a low-scoring game. It's going to be a real smash-mouth type of game. It's two teams that have had a lot of frustration, and it's a chance for them to show off on national TV. It's two different conference clashing. I think the SEC is a little bit tougher top to bottom. I don't think they're as good as the SEC fans say that they are, but they are a, they are the better conference of these two. Um, West Virginia has turned out to be nothing more than, you know, third third-place Big East team this year. And, uh, you know, I don't think they, they write the ship overnight. I think they write the ship when they have a coaching change. And, uh, you know, who knows when that's going to be. In any event, um, you know, we're on Auburn. We like the points. We think it's a low-scoring game. And, uh, you know, I, I, think it's, I think it's a nice matchup, you know, in any event. We'll move on to the Air Force New Mexico game. We're only going to go on this one really quickly. I got waxed in the Mountain West last week. I had Brigham Young in that TCU game, and you guys let me have it for it. And, uh, you know, some of my games I feel really strongly about, some of the ones I don't. Neither of these tonight do I feel very strongly about. I make that clear in the blog, I make it clear here on the video. You guys can, can look into that all you want and say that, yeah, Mitch said to pick this game and, you know, whatever. No, Mitch did say to pick the game. Mitch said this is the way that he felt about the game. And, uh, you know, that. That, that's all I try and do. I, you know, people ask me, how do you feel about the game? I don't say, you know, this team's definitely going to win. Bet your house on it. You, you, those words never come out of my mouth. Um, 
what you hear is that, you know, this team looks a little stronger in this area, this team looks a little weaker in this area, the trend is this, and this is the direction that I'm personally going. And uh, you're, I'm going to say that in this Air Force game as well. I like Air Force. I think they're just the better team. They, there's, both teams are, 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 are decent. Um, it's not a bad matchup. Uh, New Mexico 4-4, four four, Air Force 5-2. and two. Both have played pretty strong schedules. Both have played pretty well against just about everybody. You don't see too many blowouts across the board. You see a couple of games where they might have disappointed us, um, you know, uh, on both sides. Um, Air Force is at home. They have the killer rushing attack, third-ranked rushing team in the country, 118th ranked in passing, uh, you know, up there in scoring. All, most of this stuff is pretty well documented. and It's out there, and it's, it's no news to anybody. What it, what it is is that Air Force has a, uh, you know, a real run-stuffing defense. They, uh, you know, actually pass defense is, is their strong point. So in New Mexico, they're not going to be able to explain anything. Their, their run defense is decent. Their scoring defense is, is, is good. Um, for New Mexico... You know, it, it's it's all the same. It's a pretty even effort across the board. It's just, you know, maybe 20 places back from where uh, Air Force stands. And they're just a better team. They're at home. It's a night game. And, uh, you know, we got to pick one way or the other. We don't have any real strong conviction. We're going to go with Air Force in this one, laying five points. Both these lines have been moving like crazy. So you might even be able to middle both these games. There might be some good opportunities for that. In any event, we got a great slate of games going on this weekend. This is Mitch. Uh, love talking college football. Going to be talking college football all week long. So thanks for joining me.